Uh, thank you for inviting me, uh, Mr. Chairman and Mr. Ranking Member, uh, to discuss what I found when I dissected uh, seven medical bills, as you know, line by line, to see why health care costs so much in the United States. I found that by any definition, this is no one's idea of a functioning uh, marketplace. In a functioning marketplace, prices are based on something that is explainable, whether it's the cost of producing the product, or the laws of supply and demand, or the quality of the product. In this marketplace, no one can explain a hospital's charge of $77 for a box of gauze pads. No one can explain an $87,000 bill for a few hours of outpatient care. That bill included $3 for the magic marker that marked the spot where a neurostimulator would be inserted into the patient's back. He was then charged $49,000 for the neurostimulator, which cost the hospital about $19,000, and it was paid to a manufacturer whose gross profit margin is nearly double apples. No one can explain why a school bus driver was charged and sued into paying $9,400 after she fell and spent um, two hours in the Bridgeport Hospital ER, where among the charges was $239 for a blood test that Medicare, which, hate, uh, which pays hospitals based on their actual costs, would pay $13.94 for. And no one can explain anything about what I discovered was that massive, out of control, internal price list called the Charge Master. All hospitals and labs have one, but they vary wildly and have nothing to do with quality. The reason no one can explain any of this is simple. Nobody has to, because this is not a functioning marketplace. It's a casino where the house holds all the cards. That school bus driver didn't wake up one morning and say to herself, oh, I wonder what they have on sale over at the emergency room today. Maybe I'll go have a look. When she became that hospital's customer, she not only had no price information, she also had no choice. The result is an economy a world apart from the economy that the rest of us live in. While things have been tough for most Americans in the last half decade, those who run hospitals or sell CT scans or drugs or medical devices have thrived as if living in an alternate universe. In hundreds of cities and towns, tax-exempt ostensibly non-profit hospitals have become the community's most profitable businesses, often presided over by the region's most richly compensated executives. So that's what I saw when I followed the money. What can we do about it? Well, the first step, obviously, must be transparency. None of this will change until we can see it all, so that those involved can be asked to answer for those salaries, those outsized profit margins on drugs and medical devices, and above all, the bizarre differences in prices everywhere you look. But transparency can only go so far. Let's consider the man who was asked to pay $13,702 for his first transfusion of, of uh, the cancer drug that he desperately needed. Now suppose he knew that the drug only cost the ostensibly nonprofit hospital maybe $3,500, and that it cost the drug company a few hundred dollars. Suppose he even knew that among the $71,000 in other charges, he was getting soaked for $77 for a box of gauze pads or $15,000 for lab tests for which Medicare would pay just a few hundred dollars. What if he knew all that? So what? What could he do? He could feel the tumor growing in his chest, his wife told me and he was desperate for his check to clear. In fact, they kept him waiting downstairs for his transfusion until it did clear. So we need more than transparency. My written testimony, as well as the Time article, make um, a lot of uh, suggestions in that regard, but I'll close by emphasizing again that while transparency starts the conversation about prices that we didn't have in the debate over Obamacare, it's only a start, and I might add that Obamacare itself does nothing about these prices, nothing to solve this problem, zero. Once we follow the money in this lopsided seller's marketplace, we have to act to stem the flow 
by doing something about these prices. Thank you.